Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with another tool review for you and today I have a big heavy tool called the Hub Grappler. Grappler of the Hubs, Hub Grappler from OTC. Uh, they bring us all kinds of tools. In fact, they brought what I believe was like the first ball joint press. I'm not real sure because I've seen a lot of casting similar to that since then. I remember using their ball joint press way back when and thinking it was the bee's knees. This hub grappler along those same lines, but for hubs instead of ball joints. Go figure. Anyway, this be the tool comes in this giant case. It's heavy. It's heavy. Like like 80, 90 pounds heavy, <laughs> maybe more. So you need this big heavy case. This manual actually fits up in here, but the manual is very important because it tells you different codes. In fact, you see this picture on the front? I know for a fact that that is like a early 2000s Ford Explorer hub. And I've used this on a mid or, or an early 2000s Ford Explorer rear hub, and it was able to pull the hub out just fine. <laughs> However, when it came to the bearing, the bearing was a different story, because this is also able to remove bearings out of things. Well, in the process of trying to remove that bearing, I was not able to do it with a hub grappler, so I took it over to my 20 ton press. And that didn't do it under full pressure. So 20 tons of pressure did not press that bearing out. But I had this on there and I was also heating it at the time. But it took 20 tons or more than 20 tons to get to this point where this bent. So I know that what these sleeves and what this stuff is made from, first of all, it's flipping heavy, as I said, but it's also stout stuff, like really stout stuff. Uh, so you can rely on it. And even even though this got bent this way, I was still able to complete the job with this damaged sleeve. And I've talked to OTC and asked them to send me another one. They're working on that. So sorry I couldn't share a complete kit for you today, but I had to share the story. However, what I did do today is this Nissan that's behind me. I was able to replace the front wheel bearing with this alone. No press, no nothing. I'm showing you footage of it now and how awesome it was. It pulled the hub out, then it pulled the bearing out. Then I cleaned everything up, put the bearing back in, put the snap ring back in, put the hub back in, did everything complete on the car with this tool, no press required. So you think about the value of that. The fact, yes, this is a heavy 90 pound case full of a lot of different attachments, but it did the job. It does other things as well. In fact, this part of the tool here, I believe if you have a brake drum, that is stuck on to a car and it doesn't have those little bolts like I, I showed in a previous video where you can take little bolts and run them into the drum and it'll pop it off of there. Well, this one, you can grab the edges of the drum and pull the drum off of the, uh, off of the brake assembly. I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet, but this can also be used in that fashion. In a lot of ways, this piece here is the heart of the tool in this bolt. Um, that's where the business happens and this nut on the other side. That's, that's what I've used on the bearings. It also comes with this other two jaw puller and other items that you can attach for pulling things. They all have specific purposes and if you're wondering what they go to or what they are, this manual is fantastic. It tells you all these, all these tools are numbered on the top. So this is a 311866 tool. And if this is being used, it will tell you the size and the application here in this book. You can either one of two ways. You can either look at the pretty pictures like I look to, like to look at the pretty pictures or they have a listing of all the applications and what parts of the tool to use. So here here's the removal and here's the assembly. Let's just pretend we're going to do an Acura, a 2007 Acura RDX. And uh, apparently this also works on the Honda Odyssey as well. So we need to use obviously this large piece here. And we need the uh, 503634 adapter. This guy here. We need this nut. Then there's a washer. Single washer there. That can go under here.
through the grappling section, if you want to call it that. And then this passes through the hub, this on the other side. With, and this is nice too, this nut, the threads are up the top, so if you want to quickly run it down, you can do it this way, or if you don't have a lot of space, you can run it down this way. So you put all this together and you run it down and this pushes against the uh, knuckle and it will pull the hub right out of the assembly. Next you want to do the bearing. That requires some different attachments and once again it will tell us we have a 314311 and there's the 314311. We're also going to need a sleeve, uh, the 557209. So here's the 557209 and the 557212, the 557212. Won't be using the grappler section this time. Think of this like a receiver for where the bearing will end up. Then through the other side, the back side of the bearing, you've got this part of the unit and you just run it down and this will draw the bearing through the hub and into this receiving cup. But wait, there's more. You can assemble it too. To install the bearing, 314308 goes here. We'll pretend this is a new bearing. Would go in there. Then on the other side, I have this 314301. But actually, we're gonna turn around backwards this way and it's gonna fit the back of the hub. Uh, then our nut and this will draw the bearing into the hub assembly or the knuckle assembly. So this will just push it right in. 314, 309 and the hub would go in between here, nut would go in here like this and we'd pull it together. Similar to what I showed on the Nissan. It's just different sized adapters. Speaking of those different sized adapters and the amount of time that I've spent here trying to dig through and show you for demonstration purposes how this all works. I have a critique and that is it would be great if these things were more clearly marked. Now I realize that you know they just went in and etched that in there and it's not going to go anywhere but it's not clear on all the pieces. You know one piece it's really clear and one piece it's not so clear. So this is what I would suggest to OTC. On some of my sockets, I have printed on the outside the size of the socket. It would be awesome if on the side of these things there were uh, something printed on here like this, or maybe even etched. Since it's in the box like this, it would be so much easier to find if I could just spin it and find the adapter that I'm looking for. That would make, that would definitely speed the process of trying to find the right adapter for the application that you're using it for. So that's one critique that I have. It would save a lot of time if I could find these things a lot easier. Now, why don't we try something? A while back I did the wheel bearing on Brian's, Brian the cameraman's uh, Toyota 4Runner and it was a fight and a half and that was before I had a press, before I had this hub grappler, before I had everything and I was just beating on that thing all day and I was sore for a week afterward. This is a solution to that, and guess what? Here is the bearing in question, Brian's bearing. So today, our task is going to be for the hub grappler as our practical for this review. We're gonna see if we can pull that hub out of that bearing. And if we can, hub, grapp hub grappler for the win. I'm gonna see if they've got a, a setup in here for Brian's uh, vehicle and see if I can just find the adapters. If not, I'll figure it out. Back in a minute. I'm just gonna see if I can do it with these bolts in place, because this is how it would be on the truck, like that. Okay, and not everything is listed. This was not listed in the uh, manual, but 
you can sort of figure it out. You're allowed to, you're allowed to try stuff. So this is the setup that I've come up with. Here's the test. This would not come apart no matter what I tried at the time. So if the hub, hub grappler wins this, it's a total win. How do you like me now? Look at that. So had we had this tool back then, Brian would not have needed to purchase a hub. So the hub grappler was able to pull the sword from the stone. This tool works and it works awesome. I've used it a few times now, I'm very happy with it. As I said, my one critique would be that it, I wish it was easier to find the numbers on the tools. That's all. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use the puller yet or everything else, but my experience, OTC makes a quality tool. There will be information about the hub grappler if you want to check it out for yourself, along with other useful things that I'll put down there for you. I post tool reviews every other Wednesday, so stop back and see me then. Uh, if you have automotive questions, I'd ask you to head over to earthcarguide.com. Why? Because that's where questions get answered. Welcome video there to tell you about the stuff we have to answer those questions. If you wish to connect with me socially, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and don't forget to play with your tools. I'll see you next time.